A quick recap from part 1. We can add objects with Shift plus A. And we can move, scale and rotate. But what if we want to change the shape of our objects? Just hit Tab to enter edit mode. You can also do it from up here, but you know, that's way too slow. To understand what is going on in edit mode, first you should know that computers simplify objects into little planes called polygons. Each polygon is surrounded by edges and edges meet in little dots called vertices. If you want to select any of the three, just hit 1 for vertices, 2 for edges or 3 for faces or polygons on your keyboard, but not the numpad. The numpad will change your view. Moving any of these in edit mode changes the shape of our object. And we do that just like with objects, using G to grab and move, R to rotate and S to scale. Here is some more interesting stuff you can do in edit mode. You can bevel edges with Ctrl B and move the mouse. If you scroll, the bevel will be smoother. You can also extrude them using the E key, but that isn't a good move on a closed box. In the same way, you can extrude polygons and while the extrude command is on, you can type in the amount you want to extrude. If you look down here, you can see all the options that you can edit for each command and the shortcuts to access them. You can also make cuts wherever you like using the knife tool. It becomes really handy if you want to carve out something specific. But if you have a row of four-sided faces, you can slice through the whole thing using Ctrl R. Use the scroll to adjust the number of cuts and then click to place them. Click one more time to finish the cut. Last but not least, if you have a hole, you can fill it by selecting all the edges that surround it and hitting F. For more complex holes, you can search for the option Grid Fill, which will make its best to use four-sided polygons, keeping a nice flow. To recap, we learned about edit mode, that objects are made of polygons, edges and vertices, and you can move, scale and rotate just like with objects. You can also bevel, extrude and cut them to get a better shape. Also, if you have skipped some of the previous steps but wish to follow along from here, you can get all the project files for this tutorial series from the link in the description below. I'll also be adding some bonus videos in there if anyone wants to speed up their learning process. Subscribe for more tutorials and see you in the next episode.